So we will have to take um, this as one monomer and let's use a different color. We have to take this as the other monomer because you can see obviously we need to we need two monomers and the link is forming over here. So obviously uh, this is the gap between our two monomers. This is the this is the this is the breakdown, but uh, this is the boundary between our two monomers, this gap. So um, the two monomers will be uh, as I've highlighted. So for the red one, it will be HO2C because the CO is coming because coming there because of the carboxylic acid group uh, bonded to a CH, which has a side chain moving from it of CH2, CH3. And then uh, we have an o we have CH two and we have OH. Yeah. So because this O is because of the OH and obviously ester is between carboxylic acid and alcohol, so it has to be OH. Now for the second one, let's take the blue color because that's how I've highlighted it. So again, we'll have a carboxylic acid group because of the C double bond O. Then I have CH, and CH has a side chain of CH three coming from it and CH2 OH because obviously the O is because of the alcohol group. So these are the two monomers for this polymer. Now in the third case it has to be an addition polymer first of all. It has to be an addition polymer because uh, there are no ester or amide linkages and plus uh, there are carbon-carbon single bonds throughout. So it has to be an uh, it has to be an addition polymer and uh, the, uh, and if you're confused because of the skeletal formula, I'll simplify it for you. Uh, but first, let's identify how many monomers we have. Now, if you can see, these all the CH2 are the same. So let's keep them the same. But here I have a different group. Here I have a different group. And here I have a different group. So I have three different groups like these. CH3, CONH2 and the benzene ring. So this means that I have three different monomers in this case because of these three different groups. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll use red color for the CH3 uh, but um, this, so I'll tell you what the monomer will be in this case. One, the first monomer will be this entire monomer. This will be an alkene monomer. The alkene bond will form between here and then the second one will be, let's mark it with blue will be this one and it will be this one and the alkene for bond will form between here and then the third one it will be this this entire benzene structure like this and then like this so this will be the third monomer and this will be the double bond that will be formed in the monomer so let's write our three monomers over here the first one is C, C, it is attached to a CH3 and H, the other carbon is attached to two hydrogen atoms. Now the second monomer, which we, draw, uh, which we used blue for, will be C and this will be attached to a CO NH2 group. H, H, H. And then the third monomer, we have space over here, so let's draw the third monomer over here. The third monomer, which has the benzene ring, will be this carbon atom, H, H, and H here as well. And the other, the fourth, this one, to a benzene ring. stretching out of that boundary line but no problem with that so this is the benzene ring so these are our three different monomers one two and three the three monomers that are making up this entire addition polymer so uh, we are done with this question now methyl 2 cyanoprop 2 no 8 w which is given to us over here is the major component of superglue we just talked about superglue 
rapid setting adhesive. As the adhesive sets, the new